Hi, I'm Mark with Air Sports USA. I've been uh, flying and skydiving since 87. Started uh, flying ultralights in 93 and then uh, powered parachutes and paramotors in 2000. So 20, 24 years now I've been flying the paratrikes. And, uh, over the years I've de designed and developed these uh, hybrid paratrikes, which they fly paratrike or a paraglider and powered parachute wings and then also a hang glider wing so they actually fly three different wings but we're going to focus on the parafoil side of things because uh, I'm going to introduce these uh, simulators that I've designed. Uh, normally in the sport we everybody in the world teaches with the uh, aircraft that has propellers. This is the type of aircraft most everybody gets taught in which has a spinning propeller you know, frankly, it's uh, a little intimidating, you know, for a new student to get in something like this. Uh, they have no muscle memory whatsoever. They've been told and they've seen and everything, but until you actually get in it and start performing, you know, you can say you can do it and what have you, but performing the action's a different story a lot of times. So, with a spinning prop here, a lot of things can go wrong. Uh, like eating the wing and if it happens to flip over, you know, we can break the prop. So wings cost anywhere three, four thousand dollars, sometimes even more than that. Props are five to a thousand dollars, you know, mattering on what you get. And then you got the price of the cage and, you know, so you could spend up to five thousand dollars pretty quick uh, making one little boo-boo. Life savings goes into, you know, fulfilling a dream of flight. You spend ten, fifteen thousand dollars plus, you know, three, three, four thousand dollars on instruction. You got twenty thousand dollars wrapped up in it, and you flip it in one day. It could be heartbreaking, and uh, you know. So we designed something a little bit safer here at Air Sports USA. Uh, this is a simulator that I've de developed, and uh, it doesn't have the prop to eat the wing or the prop to get broken or you know, break and damage a whole bunch of pieces if the prop breaks and flies off, that can go through people's heads and God only knows what else. So, this is my simulator. We put a scooter rear end on the back of one of my paratrikes. Paratrikes set up with dual controls on it. You know, I sit in the back as the instructor. My student sits up here. Actually, first off is I would take them in a ride so they get the idea of it. Uh, you know, take them in a two-seater and a ride and they get the idea from sitting in this position because when you sit here and the instructor's down there, you get to actually see right down on top of everything he's doing, which every other paratrike in the world, mostly you either have the instructor behind you or if you're in the back, you see the back of their head. Mine's a little bit elevated back here. I get to see right down on it. You know, I'm right here, hands-on, real close and friendly. And uh, it's comforting for a student to be this close and know that, you know, if something goes wrong, their instructor's there to help take care of things. So, to begin with, uh, <laughs> after I've taken them for an introduction flight, I now put them in the front seat, and uh, we start learning how to kite. And in the back seat, I sit here and I control the throttle. I control the nose gear with this as steer. I don't have it hooked up right now, but this steers the front nose. I control the throttle. I put them in the front seat and I get him to focus on just how to kite the wing and keep it up nice and straight. And we go out on the field and uh, we learn how to keep it straight for the, you know, in the beginning. And then we start learning how to make big wide turns and a uh, big circle. And then we learn how to do a whole complete figure eight. So we get the wing leaning from the right and to the left and, you know, get the feel of the wing as, uh, as we're learning the sport, you know, and you got the instructor right here. As the instructor, I can grab your wrist and help you. I got the throttle, I got the nose. So as minimal stuff that can go wrong is gonna go wrong with me right here, especially with no spin and prop. Uh, if we do flip over, we get out and we flip it right back over. Normally, if you flip over in something like this with a spin and prop, 
your day's done. Everybody on the field comes running over to you. They flip you back over. They ask you if you're all right. You feel about this big. Uh, you probably, you know, spent thousand two thousand dollars possibly and uh, you got a short-lived uh, stint in the sport so with this if you flip it over we just get out and flip this thing right back over and we keep on keeping on nothing's hurt nothing's damaged we just keep on training you know you feel bad for a second because you boo-booed but nothing's really hurt and didn't cost anybody an arm and a leg or their whole you know life savings so after we get them to go out and do a figure eight, then I end up turning the nose wheel over. So they do the kite, they learn how to kite the wing, steer it, do a figure eight. After they do that successful, they learn how to do the nose wheel and kite the wing along with the nose wheel, just those two items. After we can do a figure eight, then I turn over the throttle to them. So it's in steps, kiting first, then kiting and the nose wheel, then kiting the nose wheel and the throttle. While I'm sitting right here, and to make you feel safe, I'm talking, barking at you, getting you used to how everything's going on, getting you throttle control to speed up, to slow down when necessary. It's really important to learn that throttle control. Uh, and getting in the right weather is another uh, really important aspect of it. And training in the right weather and the right winds not too windy that's really important so now after he can go out and do a figure eight with me sitting in the back if i can step out of this machine and i can send him out there and he can do a figure eight without flipping it over safely now we move over to something with a prop he's built up muscle memory less chance of anything going wrong he's got an idea what to expect and what you know you know, how things are gonna play out with that spin and prop. You know, he's already practiced in a simulator with no spin and prop. So, once we're done here, we move over to something like this because most of the times, these are the big boy machines and uh, a lot of the market is pushing to these smaller machines, which is not what I prefer or even recommend. I, I like the bigger ones myself. They're just more comfortable, more relaxing. When in doubt, power out. I got 50 horsepower on those, and these normally only have 25, 30 in that area. But they work great for single seaters, and then with this machine here, I've got it set up. So it's really a single seat, set up for dual instruction, exactly the same way that simulator's set up. Uh, and there is a little sneaky door or sneaky seat in the back here, again. After we've done that, we come right over here. Now we have a spin and prop uh, that we're gonna start working with. And it can be a little bit more dangerous. Things can go wrong. And uh, so we just gotta learn the machine. Uh, we start all over again. I put you on this with now the motor that you're probably purchasing and the wing that you're probably purchasing. And we start practicing with your gear on this unit while I'm sitting right here to keep things from going wrong. So we go out and we start a figure eight. You've already built up muscle memory from the simulator. You'll probably get that pretty quick. And we hand you over the nose gear. You probably get that pretty quick. And uh, then we'll hand you over the, the throttle. And uh, once you can go out and do a figure eight with me sitting right here and barking at you, we will then take, this would be your motor here and your wing. We'll take your motor and your wing off and we'll put them on one of our single seats. And these are set up exactly like those. They all feel the same from one to the next to the next. We're not moving from a different machine or, you know, so it's nothing really different. It all feels the same and we're building muscle memory up and we're learning the process under really sturdy uh, equipment. A few, a few people have rolled some of these things and <laughs> to be honest, nothing really got hurt. So uh, I was quite impressed and uh, so going from one simulator right into the one with a prop, now you've already got muscle memory built up with your wing. Oh, and while we're over here and I'm sitting in the back on this machine, uh, you're learning the sound of that motor and the way it sounds and the RPMs as they rev up and slow down, which is really important for muscle memory. You're hearing it right while 
you know, a lot of these guys, they, they get in it and they just floor it and it's all just wide open and go and their wing can be in all kinds of positions. We try to teach you to get that wing up, get everything clean, make sure there's no tension knots for anything to go wrong once you get off the ground. Uh, you know, check your package. Throttle control, throttle control, throttle control. So after you've heard them RPMs and you've got an idea how much I put input I put into it, now it should be a muscle memory. When you get into it and you're just holding it wide open, it was something will trigger and tell you that, hey, you know, that ain't what he was doing, so I need to back off that throttle a little bit. Plus, when we put you on this, now we're going to add a set of headsets and uh, I'll have a microphone on and I'll be talking to you through that and walking you through it. You know, in every other course, you get right into one of these things and this is the way you train with a spinning prop, shit can go wrong, you're... You're learning with somebody talking to you with a headset instead of somebody in a simulator right there grabbing your wrist. Uh, they're right there with you, letting you know it's all going to be okay, and there's something comforting in that. So more ground school, more ground control, more throttle control, more wing control. Don't try to fly anybody up too fast, you know. Teach them to control these things on the ground safely in good weather and... Uh, Let's go fly. Market Air Sports USA. Thank you, guys.